The steel system begins with the key ferrous material inputs, iron ore and steel scrap, which in steel making are converted into liquid steel that is then cast and formed into components that are then fabricated into end use products. In the United States, primary steel making mainly uses iron ore mined domestically, which is first reduced to iron in blast furnaces and then converted to steel in basic oxygen furnaces. Alternatively, in secondary steel making, steel is made from scrap metal by combining it with primary pig iron from the blast furnaces or direct reduced iron in electric arc furnaces. The majority of the liquid steel is continuously cast into intermediate product shapes, slabs, billets and blooms, ready for further processing downstream. Small amounts of liquid steel and iron are directly cast into near net shape products that may be machined and heat treated before fabrication in a final product. The intermediate products are formed, largely by rolling, into a plethora of useful shapes, such as flat sheet and plate, tubes, sections, reinforcing bar and rail. The flat shapes are then cut and formed to produce component shapes. For example, flat galvanized sheet is stamped to make curved automotive door panels. This conversion generates considerable quantities of manufacturing scrap, which is collected and then recirculated to the liquid metal processing stage of the supply chain. The components are fabricated into products for a range of different sectors, such as construction, transport, and in particular automotive vehicles, machinery to make other products and process other materials, products for the energy industry, such as pipe and tube, and a wide range of steel consumer products, such as domestic appliances. All along the supply chain, steel is also being imported and exported. These end-use products are ultimately bought by U.S. consumers and businesses and added to the stock of in-use steel in the United States. There is now an estimated 3.7 billion tonnes of steel in the United States. That's approximately 11 tonnes per person. This steel is embedded largely in construction, so buildings and infrastructure, transport vehicles, machinery and steel consumer products. Each year, around 75 million tonnes of steel stops being used. Some of this metal, such as the reinforcing bars in unrecovered building foundations, will remain unused and becomes what's termed a hibernating stock. Elsewhere, steel embedded in smaller products, such as small appliances, may end up in landfill. However, most of the steel scrap in the United States is collected. The US is then a net exporter of steel scrap to other countries. The steel scrap that remains within the United States is recirculated into electric arc furnaces and basic oxygen furnaces for new steel making.